Hello everyone. What I'd like to demonstrate for you today is how to use Query Surge to validate the contents of an SAP Business Objects report. In order to do this, the first thing we'll need to do is take a look at the report that we would like to validate. So I'm going to navigate over to our SAP Business Object instance and I'm going to open up the Sales Analysis Dashboard report. And what I'm specifically interested in in this case is I want to verify the information for the quantity sold by city graph. So if you hover over each one of these bars you'll see the city name as well as the quantity sold. So I want to verify that the contents displayed in this graph match up with the data in my back-end data mart. So in order to do this I'll need a few pieces of information from the report in order to build the test in query search. The first thing I'll need is the report ID. I can capture this by going to the folder that contains the report I'm interested in, right clicking on the report, and going to properties. Underneath the title of the report you'll see that the ID is listed. In this case the ID is 5608. The second piece of information I'll need is the report name itself. So if you click on the report, you'll see the report name listed both in the navigational map as well as on the tab below the actual report. And the last piece of information I'll need is the name of the specific graph that's displayed on the report. You can see this specific report has multiple graphs. I'm interested in this one in the bottom left hand corner. So the way I can get that name is by clicking on the design button, selecting the graph in question, you'll see when you select the proper graph it'll highlight it or put a, a border around it, and then if you right click you'll see an option for format chart. By selecting that option you'll see the name of this specific graph is called Pareto QS. So taking those three pieces of information the report ID, the report name, and the chart name, I can query this report using query search. So what I'm going to do is log into query search. And I'm going to navigate to a query pair that's already been created for us. The name of this query pair is called quantity sold by city. When I open up this query pair, what you'll see is on the source side, we're executing a query against our backend database. So we're connecting to a specific data mart and we're getting all the information from this table called quantity by city. On the target side, you see that we've established our connection to our SAP business objects connection. For information on how to set this up, please refer to our documentation. In order to query the contents of the report, you would put your query information. Here we have a select clause, a star, but you can also specify the column names from, and then instead of including a table name here, we're going to include this function, uh, Webby Report v2. And this function takes the three arguments that we specified earlier. The ID of the report, the name of the report, and then the name of the graph that's displayed on the report. So once you provide those parameters, you can query that graph in the SAP Business Objects report just like you would any other data store in query search. So I'm going to go ahead and run this query pair and what query surge will be doing at this point is it'll make a request to our source system which is our data mart, bring the result set back. It'll then make a request to the SAP business object server, 
get the information that's displayed in that specific report, bring that result set back, and then bring us back the results of the analysis. And you'll see in this particular scenario, we had 11 records returned, both from our source and target system, but we had one row count or one failure between the two uh, data sets. So if I select view query results and I look at the side by side view in the failure comparison, what you'll see is for the city San Francisco, the database has a quantity sold of 7,912, but in the BI report, San Francisco has a value of 7,900. Looks like it may have been some rounding error, but somehow the correct value did not come over into our SAP report. And of course, we can validate that 7,900 number by going to the report itself, hovering over San Francisco, and you'll see the quantity sold at 7,900. So I can take this information, bring it back to the ETL developer, and hopefully they'll be able to resolve that particular issue. So that is how you can use Query Surge to validate an SAP Business Objects report.